Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at from Transformers Legacy Evolution. This is the Amazon exclusive Nacelle. Nacelle is an interesting uh, character. Um, it was a off-colored uh, seeker in one of the earlier G1 episodes when they were on Cybertron. And I'm pretty sure that um, it was then shown in a catalog uh, as an off-colored, prototype-colored thrust. Now, of course, it wasn't identified as Nacelle. It was identified as thrust. Um, but basically, that color scheme with the idea of it's thrust without the cone head and with the normal null phrase has stuck around. And I believe it was the Transformers Collectors Club finally made a figure of Nacelle using that, uh, the thrust wings and uh pale fins with a uh, the main seeker body now hasbro have gone ahead and are using the siege tetrajet mold now to be completely honest this would be considered accurate to the episode of the cartoon because uh nacelle being on cybertron would not have an earth mode the problem there is is that the cone heads, I think it was kind of unofficially, officially not quite stated that their jet modes really weren't Earth modes. They were like sort of Cybertronian because you never saw them as Tetrajets. So I think they could have gotten away with using the um, Earthrise thrust mold in these colors with a normal Seeker head. Um, as I said at the beginning, this is an Amazon exclusive, and that's important to mention because several people have actually gotten this figure, and it's come with a white substance covering it. Um, now, immediately, most people said it was mold due to the nature of how it looked and that it was fuzzy, which is what mold is. Um, I've gone ahead and cleaned mine. What I do recommend is when you open this up, do so wearing disposable gloves and have a black light handy just to make sure. Because even if you don't see anything with the naked eye, um, it could be there. The other thing is it's now some people are coming out and saying this is mold release fluid. Basically, it's a type of fluid that's used to remove the plastic from the steel molds. Um, now, now again, I'm not that familiar with it. What I am familiar with is stories in the past of figures coming with this fluid, um, on the figure. And in those cases, it was actually a very clear, oily feeling fluid that really didn't coat the figure. It was actually on the packaging. And it, it, it's weird. It w didn't really have a texture. It, from what it was explained, is like you had this oily, like wet feel. Some people have said that it's actually thicker and closer to petroleum gel. Again, a clearer type of. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, I don't know where that's coming from. Um, clearer fluid than not the white mold type of uh, substance that's been found on the figure. Well, let me just say right off the bat, if you find that you, you order this and you find that your figure has it on there, immediately pack it back up and return it to Amazon for a replacement or a refund. Um, and I really think Hasbro has to... <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Hasbro has to um, address this at a so late sooner than later because um i'm not gonna say it's widespread but i will say enough people different people have mentioned it that it needs to be addressed now um one other thing that i do want to mention is this infamous back panel unfortunately i almost want to say nacelle is using that version one of the mold that was Starscream that didn't have this panel pinned in. 
because when I was transforming it to vehicle mode, this popped off. Um, I also may have noticed some warping in the um, plastic of the panels there, but as you can see, it's holding fine and it came together and I was able to snap it back on and complete the transformation. No problems without, but there's just something for some food for thought. Also, uh, Nacelle does not have, as we'll see in robot mode, that smirking face, which again leads me to believe this is the uh, version one star screen uh, use of the mold, which is a little disappointing because I thought they did that running change with the pin for all future releases. But as you can see, Nacelle is a dark blue, white, and yellow. Um, there are some red accents, namely coming from the null rays and the little bits of the joint you can see in. Uh, vehicle mode, but I guess this is basically how, as a Tetra Jet, Nacelle would look in vehicle mode. We actually really never saw the vehicle mode in the cartoon. Other than that, um, I am impressed that this is like the 12th, 15th use of the Siege Tetra Jet, and it is still fairly solid. Unfortunately, because it is such an older mold, I don't have any versions handy. I know we just looked at a heavy retool of the mold as uh, Senator Shockwave, but I, uh, but the original versions are all have been packed away for some time. But I mean, let's be honest. You know what that mold looks like. It's in different colors. It's actually been released in a rainbow spectrum of colors. So that I means that's it. So what we'll do now is we'll just skip the transformation since it's been covered. And we'll go from this to this. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so sorry, guys. Really, yeah, I am. Um, and as you can see, this is basically how Nacelle looked in robot mode. Um, a little bit in that cartoon. But it's obviously the Siege Tetrajet mode, so you still have, you know, the nice articulated wings here that you can fan out. Do what you will with them. Um, and as I mentioned, this is the neutral seeker head this was actually the face that was supposed to be on thundercracker sky warp red wing but uh due to a um, communication issue this was used on star screen and that smirking face was later released on thundercracker and uh red wing so i guess you could have uh you know swap things out I, I think unfortunately yeah you have to unscrew the head but the articulation is still there. Um, the joints are, I would say, are good and tight, tight enough. Uh, you have all that articulation. Personally, I've always felt that the seek the the Tetrajet version of the Seeker mold is a little more articulated than, say, um, the Earthrise version, um, due to whatever changes they made. And of course, you know the, the modular playability. You know you can give uh, they can hold the uh, null rays as a rifle, which actually looks like a rifle. Uh, kind of almost like, if I if I remember correctly, I almost want to say, didn't Nacelle in, in the cartoon that brief, like, weren't they holding a null ray like this? So you do have it like that. Um, you know, again, the articulation is all there. This is why people like this mold so much is, you can really have some fun with uh, the figure and pose it around. And due to the articulated wings and what have you, you can actually give it uh, different looks and styles and stuff like that. But again, you know, going back to the beginning, you have to be careful about the mold. And here in robot mode, it's showing up because you would see it in the packaging. It would be all under the wings here. Like, uh, it's almost as if Hasbro wanted to create, like, a toy buying zombies or something. And, <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah. So, I picked up the cell because I like the colors. I, I like the shade of blue and white going together with the little hints of red. At this point, we have, like, these, especially with the Tetra Jets. We have them, the, the, the Seekers, in almost every color imaginable. 
Unfortunately, when it comes to like, say, Sky War, uh, that style, that design, that's a little harder to find. But I mean, I think that three pack with like the Rainmakers is still floating around out there. I'm sure you can find a version of Starscream or Thundercracker. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's up to you. And I, I even think Red Wing is still around at like a reasonable price. And that was like a Target exclusive, like right away done. Um, so this is an Amazon exclusive, as I mentioned. And it's actually kind of good that it's an, an Amazon exclusive that if it does, if yours does have the issues with the mold on it, um, Amazon's return policy is a lot easier to deal with. They'll be very understanding. And in fact, you should really make a point of communicating to customer service. So maybe they can start expecting these figures um, before they ship them out. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, that's about that. And you know what? I think we, we can just go to my final thoughts. And my final thoughts are this is a fun figure. It's a good looking figure. Um, I like the mold. Everyone by this point should have at least one version of the Siege Tetrajet. So if you're interested, pick it up. Uh, but again, just be wary of the <coughs> mold. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. This is your old pal Chuck. Um, thanks for uh, watching. Um, if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, that does help the algorithms. I do have patreon www.patreon.com slash chuck dog 1999 you know the spiel and as i've been saying lately now please uh go out you know get my videos around on um the various uh uh, uh bulletin boards news sites just as a way to like uh, get the word out and and get people uh checking out my videos uh you know that when having to compete with the larger not the larger but the guys who get the figures early that kind of support does help so yeah um that's about it this is your old pal chuck or <laughs> <laughs>